Blessed is our God, who is now and ever and the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, the comfort of the Spirit of truth, ever present and filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come abide in us, cleanse us from all impurity, and of thy goodness save our souls. Holy God, holy mighty, holy most mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy most have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy most have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. For Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon us, please, Holy God, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, 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 Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship and fall down before God, thy King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King, and our God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King, and our God. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassion, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my iniquity, and my sin is ever before me. For dearly have I sinned and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquity, and in sin did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth to hidden and secret things of thy wisdom, that thou mayest manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with his off, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made white in the snow. Thou shalt make me give it joy and gladness, the bones of the humble they shall rejoice. Turn my face away from my sin. And blot out all my iniquity. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach the rest of thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from both guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness, O Lord. Thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hast desired sacrifice, I give thee. With whole burnt offerings thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken and humble, and God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good pleasure unto Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be builded. Then shalt thou be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation, and whole burnt offerings. Rain the bullets upon the Lord. Israel, having in time to pass war, cried forth across the Red Sea, deep for the might of Amalek to fly to the wilderness by Moses, keeping his hands uplifted in the form of a cross. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Let us glorify the rule of God in Trinity, by person, three, yet nature one, co eternal with one throne, whom we entreat and say, Save those who glorify thee in faith. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. The Son has been anointed by the Father with the Spirit of exceeding joy, by divinely working oil, and he has entered into the flesh and taught us the one Godhead in three persons. Glory to the Father and to the Son and Holy Spirit. The seraphim come up there to see the beauty of thine unapproachable glory. O one in threefold sons, and they hide themselves under their wings and unceasingly oft glorify thee in thrice holy songs. Both thou and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. <coughs> thou hast ineffably borne the maker of the whole, O all pure and delivered mortal men from the ancient curse and the ink and the corruption of death. And through thee we know that one God in three persons. <coughs> Let us not boast of wisdom and power and wealth, but of thee, O Christ, of wisdom, O Christ, wisdom in person, to an honest holy safety. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. O Christ, thou hast formerly by the Father and sent to thy holy apostle, strength from on high, that is the comforter, and thou hast subsided in the of threefold sign. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Once thou, a free and one, has appeared to the patriarch Abraham in human form, and showed the precise similarity of thy goodness and dominion. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee. O God, acknowledge the threefold <coughs> features plainly and circumscribed. Incomprehensible to all, 
Doing bows and doing ourselves from every affliction. Most holy third talk of Sabah. Instructed in elementary things by the wise teaching of my son, we glorify the rule of God. Sing well in your threefold right, and we bless thee, the ever virgin. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Threefold son, uncreated and one in essence. Thou one in three persons, incomprehensible. Take pity on my servants, and as merciful God, save them from danger. Ye have obtained, O Lord. One deliverer and master, and we cry, be merciful to us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Surrounded, O Virgin, by many circumstances and <coughs> happenings, and ever falling into despair, we have been as our salvation, hope, and war of faith, hope us, and to thee as a Jew, we now run in faith, saved by servants. He who sits in glory amidst the clouds of the air on the throne of the Godhead, even Jesus the Most High, came with strong hand to save those who cry aloud, Glory to thy power, O Christ. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Thou Trinity above being, of the Godhead in one, sole and supreme Lordship, we join the seraphim to glorify thee as undivided nature, not confused, equal in, all, in glory. O God, who cannot be comprehended, glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. We sing thy praises, thou divided into the, per into the persons of the Godhead, Past speech and united in one dominion, the one infinite and circumscribed maker of all creation. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. We proclaim the mind without beginning, who past speech has been born, and the divine spirit who proceeded who, and whose strength is equal, and through him the Trinity one essence, God the master of all, most holy there to save us. To those who stumbled in the past, the word declared in figures this incarnation from the O Virgin, but after birth hath appeared to men and made manifest the three persons, one sovereignty. The entire world was amazed at her divine glory, for thou, a virgin, who never knew a man beheld him by thee, the God of all, and gave us birth to an eternal Son, who rewards with peace those who sing my praises. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Bearing in mind through faith the one unapproachable essence of your created Godhead, three persons naturally united, origin of life, we honour the faith, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, who are co-eternal. Glory to, to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. A brightness in three suns, shine upon thee, thine, is, thine essential radiance, thou one Godhead, the one created nature, light working fount of every life in dream. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Knowing thee to be truly the one creator, <coughs> artificer, and all wise of the whole world, and guide of life, we cry aloud to thee in faith, O Lord, threefold Son, God, those who sing my praises. Most holy there to God save us. Wishing to make man who was formerly corrupt like God, he who has framed and shaped the divine form of virgin, has been born man of thee, and has proclaimed the one divine sovereignty free in number. The prophet Jonah in the belly of the whale prefigured thy burial for cried aloud and pray. From corruption do thy deliver me, O Jesus, King of hosts. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. The Father has said as he spoke of the Son, heard on the Spirit, it is visible in Christ baptized. Therefore we glorify the triune divine sovereignty. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. O High Master, <coughs> in three persons transform our hearts and show forth thy servants, that they may behold the shining beauty of thy glory. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Isaiah, as he saw thee praised by the sound of holy, 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 and seated on the high throne, knew thee to be the Trinitarian personality of the one divine sovereignty. Most holy third O God, save us. As he loves mankind, the Son of God, both fit to take form plainly from a virgin, and he made men partakers of the divine glory. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, in fear we proclaim the Father, only begotten, the Son begotten, and the Holy Spirit proceeding from the Father. A kingdom without beginning, and a single Godhead, whom we glorify with one accord, as we cry aloud, O God, thou Trinity, in one essence, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O undefiled, thou hast conceived in time above nature in the flesh, he who is beyond time and before the ages as God of man. Therefore we all truly sing thy praises in thee, the of us, and earnestly cry aloud, make us all worthy of that eternal glory. The children of Abraham is the Persian furnace, were consumed by a burning love of godliness greater than the flame, and they cried out in a destructive fire, blessed are thou in the of thy glory. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. We all born on earth, imitating exactly in right glory the established heavenly natures and intelligences, glorify one Godhead in three persons, equal in operation. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. We all born on earth, imitating exactly in right glory the established heavenly nature and intelligences, 
Lord, if I won't go ahead and preach that sense equal in operation. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. In the declaration of the holy prophet in days of old, for this globe is one, the creator of all ages, inexpressible God and Lord, sovereign rule in three persons. Most holy thanks, O God, save us. The word is incurable, <coughs> who after his essence is not to be seen, appeared to men as man of the pure mother of God, and called man to a participation in his divinity. In the den, Daniel stretched forth his hands and stopped the mouths of the lions while girded with virtue. The young men who loved to worship quenched the mighty fire as they cried, All you works of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. <coughs> One sovereign light, threefold radiance, O essence without beginning. O irresistible beauty, come and dwell in my heart and flame like show me a pure temple of the Godhead. As I cry, All you works of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Deliver me, O undivided Trinity, one without confusion from diverse passions, and from the darkness of faults, and by thy divine rays give me light that I may imagine thy glory, and sing of the Lord of glory. Most holy, fair talk, us, save us. The only God and Father, the mind and the words, same form and spirit, same throat, essence, might, existence of a being, past speech, great in thy works. Dream one, guard thy flock by the prayers of the fair talk, us. As by nature thou lovest mankind. Let every mortal born on earth <clears throat> carry his torch and spirit leap for joy. And let the order of the angelic powers celebrate and honour the holy feast of the mother of God. And let them cry, Hail, O blessed Theotokos, pure and ever virgin. Glory to the Lord, glory to thee. And move my whole heart and understanding and the disposition of my whole soul and body towards thee. My freshener and deliverer, sovereign in three lights, and I cry aloud to thee. Save thy servant from every kind of temptation and affliction. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. I move my whole heart and understanding and the disposition of my whole soul and body toward thee, my passionate and deliverer, sovereign in free lights, and I cry aloud to thee. Save thy servant from every kind of temptation and affliction. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. <coughs> Do thou lift up our minds and understanding towards thee, the Most High, enlighten us by thine undefiled radiance, O Father, a word and comforter, light of the living that no man can approach. O Son of Glory, Lord of Life, for us to glorify Thee at all times, Thou once in three persons. Most holy, fair to God, save us. O Lord, save them that believe in Thee, and declare the one essence eternal, without beginning three persons, one divine rule, some same form of dominion, and make us worthy of the divine glory of the, by the prayers of the pure Mother of God. It is very really me to Lord, the transcendent Trinity, the Father and Author of all things. <clears throat> is without beginning, begotten of the Father before all worlds, and the Holy Spirit proceeding outside time from the Father. It is verily meet for us to glorify thee, the Word of God, before whom the cherubim tremble and quake, and unto whom the hosts of heaven sing hymns of praise. Let us all praise in sacred hymns, divinely fitting the Father, the Son, and the Divine Spirit, one power, one sovereignty, and one Lordship. Whom all mortal men on earth praise, and whom the hosts of heaven glorify, one nature, three persons worshipped in faith by all. O Lord of the kingdom and divine ruler, as a compare of the seraphim, O undivided, free in one, who art the Godhead, thee do we divide, thee, the divine ruler, do we magnify. I worship the Father and God without beginning, together with the Word, equally without beginning, and the Spirit, let us honour in him the single, undivided, united nature, the three in one. Make the bright rays of thy light sh shine upon me, O God, in three persons, maker of all. And show me forth as the abode of thy unapproachable glory, glistening and laden with light and changeless. We magnify with all Christ the giver of life, ineffably made flesh of the virgin before whom the cherubim tremble, and quake on whom the angelic host praise and glorify. Beholding thy son risen like God from the tomb, the creation was filled with joy, past words, and sings his praises, and honours thee, O virgin, with our spot. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, God, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, save us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy God, visit and hear our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, God, now and ever. And unto ages of ages, Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, 
now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and into the ages of ages, Amen. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. Thou of human virginity bearest God the word, true mother of God, we magnify thee. Bless Father in the name of the Lord. May God have compassion upon us and bless and make sure that his countenance upon us and be merciful unto us. Amen. Omnipotent and life giving Trinity, the beginning of life and truth. <coughs> Thy goodness alone has brought forth from nothingness every creature, and of thy providing sustainer. And among thine other ineffable benefits, thy earthly generation does grant repentance also unto us because of the weakness of our flesh, even unto death. Leave us not to die miserable in our evil deeds, nor to be the ridicule of the author of evil, or the envious one, the destroyer. Thou seest on the one hand a good heart to one the snares and enmity against us, on the other the passions of weakness and negligence. But we pray that thine inexhaustible goodness may be wrought upon us, who may be wrought for every day and hour by, by thy honourable and life-giving commandments. But forgive and pardon all our offences of our past life and up to the present hour, in deed and speech or in thought. For I say, grant us complete remainder of our life in repentance and contrition, and in keeping our holy precepts, if deceived by pleasure, we have sinned in diverse manners as seduced by abominable desires, useless and injurious, we have spent our time if moved by wrath and unreasonable displeasure, we have afflicted any of our brethren. If by eternal we have bound ourselves in unavoidable, injurious and strong snares. If by any of our senses, or by all, willingly or unwillingly, knowingly or unknowingly, unexpectedly or premeditatedly, we have foolishly erred. If by evil and vain thoughts we have defiled our conscience, and if any other manner we have sinned, by evil chance, by custom, do thy pardon us and forgive all, for all compassion of one most good and many mercy. And grant us future watchfulness and power to do thy good and agreeable, agreeable and perfect will. And let not turn on dark evil deeds to change to shining repentance and walking nobly as in the day. May we unworthy ones be shown forth, cleansed by the love of man, thy love of man, praising thee and magnifying thee forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Father bless. May he who rose from the day of Christ, who took God through the intercessions, all in back to blame us, Holy Mother, or of our Holy Father, Santa, and Catholic, to the holy and righteous ancestors of God, of our Holy Father, Pius, is the other night whose memory is celebrated today, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for as much as he is good and loveth mankind. Forgive me the sin. Let us pray for the peace of the Lord. For pious and orthodox Christians, for our Father, the Metropolitan Silva, and all our brothers and sisters in Christ, for the civil authorities this land, for the welfare of our armed forces, for our fathers and brethren absent from us, for those who hate us and those who love us, for those who are kind to us and minister to us. For those who requested our prayers and words of the deeds, of captives, for travelers by land and by sea and by air, for those who lie in sickness, let us pray also for the abundance of the fruits of the earth, for the soul of every Orthodox Christian. Let us bless God, fearing leaders, Orthodox bishops, the founders of the holy churches in these parts, our parents and teachers, all our fathers and brethren gone before us, the Orthodox, who here and everywhere lie asleep in the Lord. Let us also say for us, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. To the past, <coughs> Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Yeah. 
blessed is our Lord, who is now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Come, let us worship the right King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Oh, come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. The Lord hear thee in the day of affliction. In the name of the God of Jacob, defend thee. Let him send forth unto thee help from the sanctuary, and out of Zion let him help thee. Let him remember every sacrifice of thine, and thy heart's offering let him pass thee. The Lord grant me according to thy heart, and fulfill all thy purposes. We will rejoice in thy salvation, and in the name of the Lord our God shall we be magnified. The Lord fulfill all thy requests. Now have I known that the Lord has saved the immortal one. You will hearken unto him out of his holy heaven. The mighty deeds is the salvation of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and so but we will call upon the name of the Lord our God. The better than have fallen, if we are written in the set of time. O Lord, save the king and hearken unto us in the day when we call upon thee. O Lord, in thy strength the king shall be glad, and in my salvation shall he rejoice exceedingly. The desire of his heart is thy granted unto him, and has not denied him the request of his lips. Thou wentest before him with the blessings of goodness, thou hast set upon his head a crown of precious stone. He has life to thee, and thou gavest him length of days, unto ages of ages. <coughs> Great is his glory in thy salvation. Glory and majesty for thy lay upon thee. For thou shalt give him blessing forever and ever. Thou shalt be enjoyed with thy countenance. For the king hopeth in the Lord, and through the mercy of the Most High shall he not be shaken. Let thy hand be found on all thine enemies. Let thy right hand find all that hate thee. For thou wilt make them as another of fire in the time of thy presence. The Lord has wrath the trouble and surely and fire shall desire them. Their fruit will thou destroy from the earth, and their seed from the sons of men. For they have intended evil against thee, they have devised counsels which they shall not be able to establish. For thou shalt make them turn their back among those that are by them. Thou shalt make ready their counsels. Be thou exalted, O Lord, in thy strength, and we will sing and chant of thy mighty act. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mighty, holy mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mighty, holy mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Pass the promise of peace, holy God. Visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom of power, and the glory of the Father, and the <coughs> Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Do thou, who of thine own good will was lifted up on the cross, O Christ our God, bestow thy bounties upon the new nation, which is called by thy name. Be glad in thy mind, those who love the means of them, that with them we may be lit to victory over our adversary. Having in thy aid a weapon of peace and a trophy invincible, both now and ever and to the ages of ages, amen. O champion, dread who cannot be put to confusion, despise our superstitions, all good and all great players, O God. Establish the way of the orders, save those who have been called upon to govern us, leading us to the peace. Which is from heaven for thou art he who gave us but to God and our universe. Have mercy upon us, O God, according to the good.
Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy,
My soul hath grieved after thee, thy right hand hath been quick to help. But as for these in vain have they sought after my soul, they shall go into the nethermost parts of the earth, they shall be surrendered unto the edge of the sword. A portion of boxes shall they be, but the king shall be glad in God. Everyone shall be praised that sweareth by him, for the mouth of them is stopped that speak unjust things. At the dawn I meditated on thee, for thou art become my helper. In the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved after thee, thy right hand hath been quick to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, by day have I cried, and by night before thee, let my prayer come before thee, bow down thine ear unto my supplication. For filled with evils is my soul, and my life unto Hades hath drawn nigh. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am become as a man without help, free among the dead, <coughs> like the bodies of the slain that sleep in the grave. And thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from my hand. They laid me in the lowest pit in darkness, and in the shadow of death. Against me is thine anger made strong, and all thy billows hast thou brought upon me. Thou hast removed my friends afar from me. They have made me an abomination unto themselves. I have been delivered up and have not come forth. Mine eyes are grown weak from poverty. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, the whole day long. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Nay, for the dead will thou work wonders, or shall physicians wave their mud, that they may give thanks unto thee. Nay, shall any in the grave tell of thy mercy, and of thy truth in thy destruction. Nay, shall thy wonders be known in thy darkness, and thy righteousness in the land that is forgotten. But as for me, unto thee, O Lord, have I cried, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Wherefore, O Lord, dost thou cast off my soul, and turnest thy face away from me? A poor man am I, and in troubles from my youth. Yea, having been exalted, I was humbled, and brought to distress. Thy furies have passed upon me, and thy terrors have sorely troubled me. They compassed me about together. Thou hast removed the far from me, friend and neighbour, and my acquaintances, because of my misery. O Lord God of my salvation, by day have I cried, and by night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, bow thou mine ear unto my supplication. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all that he hath done for thee, who is gracious to all thine iniquities, who healeth all thine infirmities, who redeemeth thy life from corruption, who crowneth thee with mercy and compassion, who fulfilleth thy desire with good things, thy youth shall be renewed as the eagles. The Lord performeth deeds of mercy, and executeth judgment for all them that are wrong. He hath made the ways of Moses unto the of Israel, the things that he hath willed. Compassionate and merciful is the Lord, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy. Not unto the end would he be angered, neither into it, unto eternity would he be wroth. Not according to our iniquities have he dealt with us, neither according to our sins have he rewarded us. For according to the height of heaven from the earth, the Lord hath made his mercy to prevail over them and let them, as far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our iniquities from us. 
like as a father hath compassion upon his sons, so hath the Lord had compassion upon them that fear him, for he knoweth whereof we are made. We have remembered we are dust. As for man, his days are as the grass, as the flower of the field, so shall he blossom forth. For when the wind is passed over it, then it shall be gone, and no longer will it know the place thereof. But the mercy of the Lord is from eternity, even unto eternity upon them that fear him. And his righteousness is upon sons of sons, upon them that keep his testament, and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord in heaven hath prepared his throne, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, O ye his angels, mighty in strength that perform his work, to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, O ye his hosts, his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord, O ye his works, in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul, in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer, give ear unto my supplication and my truth. Hearken unto me in my righteousness, and enter not into judgment with my servant, for in my sight shall no man living be justified. And the enemy has persecuted my soul, he hath humbled my life down to the earth, he hath sat me in darkness as those that have been my death, and my spirit within me has become despondent, within me my heart is troubled. I remember the days of old, I meditated on all thy works, I pondered on the creations of thy hands, I stretched forth my hands unto thee. My soul thirsts after thee like a waterless land. Quickly hear me, O Lord, my spirit has fainted away. Turn not thy face away from me, lest I be like unto them that go down to the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for in thee have I put my hope. Cause me to know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk. For unto thee have I lifted up my soul. Rescue me from my enemies, O Lord, and to thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. For thy name's sake, O Lord, shall thou quicken me. In thy righteousness shall thou bring my soul out of affliction, and in thy mercy shall thou utterly destroy mine enemies, and thou shalt cut off all them that afflict my soul by on thy servant. O Lord, give ear unto my supplication, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. O Lord, give ear unto my supplication, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of rightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Oh, <coughs> glory to thee. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Some of our and salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. The whole world that it is saved to the holy churches of God, the union of all, and let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and those of faith, reverence, and the fear of God and fed in, and let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Father, and let the politics who are the God and friend of the priesthood. That I have met in Christ the pledge in the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For Metropolitan <coughs> Archbishop John, for thy quick release from captivity, safe return, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For our Queen and her government, for all in civil authority, and for her armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. City and parishes in Lincoln and Worcester for every city and land for the faithful who dwell therein. Let us pray to the Lord. For healthful seasons of the <coughs> of the fruits of the earth and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for travelers by sea, by land, and by air, the sick, the suffering, captives, and their salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For our deliverance or tribulation or danger and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. 
Lord, you'll save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy unto thy name, O Most High. When mine enemy be turned back, they shall grow weak, and shall perish before thy face. For thou hast maintained my judgment and my cause. Thou hast sat upon a throne, O thou that judgest righteousness. Thou hast rebuked the heathen, and the ungodly man hath perished. His name thou hast blotted out forever, and unto ages of ages. The swords of the enemy have utterly failed, <coughs> and his cities thou hast destroyed. The remembrance of him hath perished with a resounding noise, but the Lord forever abideth. In judgment hath he prepared his throne, and he himself will judge the world in righteousness. He will judge the peoples in uprightness. And the Lord is become a refuge for the poor man, 
a helper in times of well-being and in afflictions. And let them that know thy name hope in thee, for thou hast not forsaken them that seek thee, O Lord. Chant unto the Lord who dwelleth in Zion, proclaim ye his ways among the nations. For he that maketh inquiry for blood hath remembered them. He hath not forgotten the cry of the paupers. Have mercy on me, O Lord, see my humiliation, which I have suffered from mine enemies. O thou that dost raise me up from the gates of death, that I may declare all thy praises in the gates of the daughter of Zion. We will rejoice in thy salvation. <clears throat> the heathen are ensnared in the destruction which they have wrought. In this snare which they hid hath their foot been caught. The Lord is known by the judgments which he executed. In the works of his own hands hath the sinner been caught. That sinners be turned into Hades, yea, all the nations that are forgetful of God. For the poor man shall not be forgotten, forgotten to the end. The patience of the paupers shall not perish forever. Arise, O Lord, let not man prevail. Let the nations be judged before thee. O Lord, set a lawgiver over them. Let the heathen know that they are but men. Why, O Lord, hast thou gone to stand afar off? Why dost thou overlook us in times of well-being and in afflictions? When the ungodly man is arrogant, the poor man burneth within. They are caught in the counsels which they devise. For the sinner praiseth himself in the lust of his soul, and the unrighteous man likewise blesseth himself therein. The sinner hath provoked the Lord, according to the magnitude of his wrath. He careth not. God is not before him. Profane are his ways in every season. Thy judgments are removed from his sight. Over all his enemies shall he gain dominion. For he said in his heart, I shall not be shaken. From generation to generation shall I be without harm. With cursing is his mouth filled, and with bitterness and deceit. And under his tongue are toil and travail. He sitteth in ambush with the riches in secret places, that he may slay the innocent. His eyes are set upon the poor man. He lieth in wait in a secret place, like a lion in his den. He lieth in wait to seize upon the poor man, to seize upon the poor man when he draweth him in. In his snare will he humble himself. He will bow down and fall while gaining dominion over the poor. For he said in his heart, God hath forgotten. He hath turned away his face, that he might not, not see unto the end. Arise, O Lord my God, let thy hand be lifted high, forget not thy paupers to the end. Why hath the ungodly one provoked God? For he hath said in his heart he will not make inquiry. Thou seest, for thou understandest travail and anger, that thou mightest deliver him into thy hands. To thee hath the beggar been abandoned, for the orphan art thou a helper. Break thou the arm of the sinner, and of the evil man. His sin shall be sought out and be found no more. The Lord shall be king forever and unto the ages of ages. The heathen shall perish out of his land. The desire of the poor hast thou heard, O Lord. To the preparation of their heart hath thine ear been attentive. To judge for the orphan and the humble, that man may no more presume to be haughty upon the earth. In the Lord have I hoped, how will ye say to my soul, flee unto the mountains like a sparrow? For behold, the sinners have bent their bow. They have prepared arrows for the quiver to shoot down in a moonless night the upright of heart. For what thou hast formed they have destroyed, and the righteous man, what hath he done? The Lord is in his holy temple, the Lord in heaven is his, is his throne. His eyes are set upon the poor man, his eyelids examine the sons of men. The Lord examineth the righteous man and the ungodly, but he that loveth unrighteousness hateth his own soul. He will rain down snares upon sinners, Fire and brimstone and wind of tempest shall be the portion of their cup. For the Lord is righteous and hath loved righteousness. Upon uprightness hath his countenance looked. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Save me, O Lord, for a righteous man there is no more. For truths have diminished from the sons of men. The vain things have each man spoken to his neighbour. Deceitful lips are in his heart, and his heart hath spoken evil. Let the Lord destroy all deceitful lips. 
and the tongue speaketh boastful words, which have said, Our tongues will be magnified, our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? Because of the distress of the beggars, and the groanings of the poor. Now will I arise, saith the Lord. I will establish them in salvation. I will be manifested therein. The words of the Lord are pure. Silver <clears throat> is fire, tried in the earth, brought to sevenfold purity. Thou, O Lord, shall, shall keep us and shall preserve us from this generation and for evermore. <coughs> the ungodly walk round about to the measure of the lo thy loftiness, as thou hast seen the sons of men. How long, O Lord, will thou utterly forget me? How long will thou turn my face away from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul with grievings in my heart by day and by night? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Look upon me, hear me, O Lord my God, enlighten my eyes, lest at any time I sleep unto death. Lest at any time my enemies have prevailed against me. They that afflict me will rejoice if I am shaken. But as for me, I have hoped in my mercy, and my heart will rejoice in my salvation. I will sing unto the Lord, who is my benefactor, and I will chant unto the name of the Lord Most High. The fool has said in his heart, There is no God. By they are become corrupt and loathsome in their ways. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. The Lord looked down from heaven upon the sons of men, to see if there be any that understand or seek after God. They are all gone astray, they are all together rendered useless. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. Shall not all they that work iniquity come to understanding? They that eat up my people as they eat bread have not called the Lord. There have they feared where, with fear where no fear is, but the Lord is in the generation of the righteous. The counsel of the poor man have ye shamed, but the Lord is in, but the Lord is his hope. Who shall give out of Zion the salvation of his Israel? When the Lord hath turned back the captivity of his people, Jacob shall rejoice, and Israel shall be glad. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to your God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to your God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to your God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle, and who shall dwell in thy holy mountain? He that walketh blameless and worketh righteousness, speaking truth in his heart, who hath not spoken deceitfully with his tongue, neither hath done evil to his neighbour, nor taken up a reproach against those near him. In his sight he that worketh evil is set a naught, but he glorifieth them that fear the Lord. He giveth oath to his neighbour, and forsweareth not. He hath not lent his money on usury, and hath not received bribes against the innocent. He that doeth these things shall never be shaken. Keep me, O Lord, for in me have I hoped. I said unto the Lord, Thou art my Lord, for of my goods no need hast thou. In the saints that are in his earth hath the Lord been wondrous. He hath wrought all his desires in them. Their infirmities increased, thereupon they hastened. I will not assemble their assemblies of blood, nor will I make remembrance of their names through my lips. The Lord is the portion of mine inheritance, and of my cup. Thou art he that restorest mine inheritance unto me. Portions have fallen to me that are among the best, for mine inheritance is most excellent to me. I will bless the Lord who hath given me understanding. Moreover, even till night have my reins instructed me. I be the Lord ever before me, for he is at my right hand, that I might not be shaken. Therefore did my heart rejoice, and my tongue was glad. Moreover, my flesh shall dwell in hope. For thou wilt not abandon my soul in Hades, nor wilt thou suffer thy Holy One to see corruption. Thou hast made known to me the ways of life. Thou wilt fill me with gladness with thy countenance. Delights are in thy right hand forever. Hearken, O Lord, unto my righteousness. Attend unto my supplication. Give ear unto my prayer, which cometh not from deceitful lips. From before thy face let my judgment come forth. Let mine eyes behold the brightness. Thou hast proved my heart. Thou hast visited it in the night. Thou hast tried me by fire, and unrighteousness was not found in me. That my mouth might not speak of the works of men. For the sake of the words of thy lips have I kept the ways that are hard. Set my footsteps in thy paths. 
that might not be shaken. I have cried for thou hast hearkened unto me, O God. Incline thine ear unto me, and hearken unto my words. Let thy mercies be made wonderful, O thou that savest them that hope in thee. From them that have resisted thy right hand, keep me, O Lord, as the apple of thine eye. In the shelter of thy wings wilt thou shelter me, from the efface of the ungodly which have oppressed me. Mine enemies have surrounded my soul, they have enclosed themselves with their own fat, their mouth hath spoken pride. They that cast me out have now encircled me, they have set their eyes to look askance on the earth. They have taken me as might a lion, ready for his prey, and as might a lion's whelp that dwelleth in hiding. Arise, O Lord, overtake them, and trip their heels. Deliver my soul from ungodly men, thy sword from the enemies of thy hand. O Lord, from thy few do thou separate them from the earth in their life. Yea, with thy hidden treasures have their belly been filled. They have satisfied themselves with swine, and have left the remnants to their babes. But as for me in righteousness shall I appear before thy face, and I shall be filled when thy glory is made manifest. To Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. O our God and our hope. Glory to thee. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord and of love, Holy in remembrance, are all holy, immaculate, most holy, that are in the name of your God, and ever virtue, Mary, all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other, and all our life unto Christ our Lord. Thine is the majesty, and thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and the ages of ages. Amen. <laughs> Looking up at the entrance to the sepulchre, and unable to enjoy the angels' radiance, the mothering women were trembling and sad in as astonishment. I, has he been stolen? Who to the robber open of paradise? Has he arisen? Who spoke of rising before even suffering? He is truly risen as Christ our God, granting those in Hades life and resurrection. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Oh, by your voluntary will, O oh, Saviour, you endure the cross, and by mortal man were you into a new tomb entered, or by a word I created, learned I was. Therefore, being bound, was the enemy death, plundered of his spoils, catastrophically, and those in Hades all together cried aloud, and your life bearing resurrection. The Christ is the life bestowed on ye abides forever. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages, Amen. <clears throat> Amen. O Theotokos, through you became manifest to us on earth a mystery, which was hidden from eternity, and which the angels themselves knew not. Thy God, uniting natures without confusion, becomes a man, and accepts crucifixion for our salvation and for, for eternity. 
by virtue of this resurrecting man, whom he hath first created, he saved our souls from the strength, the Lord is my foundation and my refuge and my deliverer. He is my helper and I will hope in him, and my defender and the horn of my salvation and my helper. With praise will I call upon the name of the Lord, and from mine enemy shall I be saved. The pangs of death surrounded me, and the torrents of iniquity sorely troubled me. The pangs of Hades encircled me, round about the snares of death have overtaken me, and in mine affliction I called upon the Lord. And unto my God have I cried. He heard my voice, and out of his holy temple, and my cry for him shall enter into his ears. And the earth shook and was made to tremble, and the foundations of the mountains were troubled and were shaken, because God was angry with them. There went up smoke in his wrath, on fire from his countenance set all aflame. Coals were kindled therefrom, and he bowed the heavens and came down and thick darkness was under his feet, and he mounted upon cherubim and flew, he flew upon the wings of the wind, and he made darkness his hiding place, his tabernacle round about him, dark water in the clouds of the air, from the far shining radiance that was before him, there passed by clouds hail and coals of fire, and the Lord thundered out of heaven, and the Most High gave forth his voice. And he sent forth his arrows and scattered them, and lightnings he multiplied and troubled them sorely. And the well springs of the waters were seen, and the foundations of the world were revealed at thy rebuke. O Lord, at the on reading of the spirit of thy wrath. And he sent from on high, and he took me, he received me out of many waters. He will deliver me from mine enemies, which are mighty, and from them that hate me, for they are stronger than I. They overtook me in the day of my affliction. And the Lord became my firm support, and he led me forth into a spacious place. He will deliver me, because he desired me. And the Lord will recompense me according to my righteousness, and according to the purity of my hands will he recompense me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord, and have not acted impiously toward my God. For all his judgments are before me, and his statutes departed not from me. And I shall be blameless with him and I shall keep myself from my iniquity. And the Lord will reward me according to my righteousness, and according to the purity of my hands that bore his eyes. With the holy man will thou be holy, and with the innocent man will thou be innocent, and with the elect man will thou be elect, and with the perverse will thou be perverse. For thou wilt save a humble people, and I will humble the eyes of the arrogant. For thou wilt light my lamp, O Lord my God, thou wilt enlighten my darkness. For by thee shall I deliver from a host of robbers, and by my God shall I leap over a wall. As for my God, blameless is his way. The words of the Lord are tried in the fire. Defender is he of all that hope in him. For who is God save the Lord? And who is God save our God? It is God who girded me with power, and hath made my path blameless. He maketh my feet like the feet of a heart, and setteth me upon high places. He teacheth my hands for war, and thou madest mine arms a bow of brass. And thou gavest me as a shield of salvation, and my right hand hath upheld me. And thine instruction hath corrected me, even unto the end. Yea, thine instruction, the same, will, the same will teach me. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me, and the tracks of my feet are not weakened. I shall pursue my enemies, and I shall overtake them, and I shall not turn back until they fail. I shall greatly afflict them, and I shall not, and they shall not be able to stand. They shall fall under my feet. For thou hast girded me with power for war. In subjection under me hast thou bound the feet of all them that rose up against me. And thou hast made mine enemies turn their back before me, and them that hate me hast thou utterly destroyed. They cried, and there was no saviour, even to the Lord, and he hearkened not to them. And I will grind their finest dust of the wind. I will trample them down as mud in the streets. Deliver me from the gainsaying of the people. Thou wilt set me as the head of the nations. A people which I knew not have served me. No sooner than their ear had heard, they obeyed me. Sons that are strangers have lied unto me. Sons that are strangers have grown old. 
and they have linked the way in their paths. The Lord liveth, and blessed is my God, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. O God, who givest avengement unto me, and has subdued peoples under me, O my deliverer from enemies, to anger, from them that, that arise up against me, will thou lift me high, from unrighteous man deliver me. For this cause will I confess thee among the nations, O Lord, and unto thy name will I chant. It is he that magnifieth the salvation of his king, and worketh mercy for his anointed, for David, and for his seed unto eternity. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaimeth the work of his hands. Day unto day boreth forth speech, and night unto night proclaimeth knowledge. There are no tongues nor words in which their voices are not heard. Their sound hath gone forth into all the earth, and their words unto the ends of the world. In the sun hath he set his tabernacle, and he like a bridegroom cometh forth from his chamber, will rejoice like a giant to run his course. From the outermost border of heaven is his going forth, and his goal is unto the outermost parts of heaven, and there shall no man hide himself from his seat. The law of the Lord is blameless, conversing souls. The testimony of the Lord is trustworthy, bringing wisdom to infants. The statutes of the Lord are upright, gladdening the heart. The commandment of the Lord is far shining, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever and ever. The judgments of the Lord are true, altogether justified. More to be desired than gold and much precious stone, and sweeter than honey and the honeycomb. Yea, for thy servant keepeth them. In keeping them there is much reward. As for transgressions, who will understand them? From my secret sins cleanse thee, and from those of others spare thy servant. If they have not dominion over me, then blameless shall I be, and I shall be cleansed from great sin. And the saying of my mouth shall be unto thy good pleasure, and the meditation of my heart shall be before thee forever, O Lord, my helper and my redeemer. The Lord hear thee in the day of affliction, the name of the God of Jacob defend thee. Let him send forth unto thee help from his sanctuary, and out of Zion let him help thee. Let him remember every sacrifice of thine, and thy whole burnt offering let him fatten. The Lord grant thee according to thy heart, and fulfill all thy purposes. We will rejoice in thy salvation, and in the name of the Lord our God shall we be magnified. The Lord fulfill all thy requests. Now have I known that the Lord hath saved his anointed one. <clears throat> he will hearken unto him out of his holy heaven. In mighty deeds is the salvation of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will call upon the name of the Lord our God. They have been fettered and have fallen, but we are risen and are set upright. O Lord, save the King, and hearken unto us in the day when we call upon thee. O Lord, in thy strength the King shall be glad, and in thy salvation shall he rejoice exceedingly. The desire of his heart has I granted unto him, and has not denied him the request of his lips. Thou wentest before him with the blessings of goodness. Thou hast set upon his head a crown of precious stone. He asked life of thee, and thou gavest him length of days, unto ages of ages. Great is his glory in thy salvation. Glory and majesty shalt thou lay upon him. For thou shalt give him blessing forever and ever. Thou shalt gladden him in joy with thy countenance. For the King is in the Lord, and through the mercy of the Most High shall he not be shaken. Let thy hand be found on all thine enemies. Let thy right hand find all that take thee. For thou wilt make them as an oven of fire in the time of thy presence. The Lord in his wrath will trouble them sorely, and fire shall devour them. Their fruit will thou destroy from the earth, and their seed from the sons of men. For they have intended evil against thee. They have devised counsels which they shall not be able to establish. For thou shalt make them turn their backs among those that are thy remnant. Thou shalt make ready their countenance. Be thou exalted, O Lord, in thy strength. We will sing and chant of thy mighty acts. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. 
This is the generation of them that seek the Lord, of them that seek the face of the God of Jacob. Lift up your gates, O ye princes, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting gates, and the King of glory shall enter in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in war. Lift up your gates, O ye princes, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting gates, and the King of glory shall enter in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. <coughs> glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to your God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to your God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to your God. O our God and our hope. Glory to thee. Again, again, and peace, let us pray to the Lord of mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord of mercy. According to remembrance, our all holy, immaculate, Lord, most blessed, and glorious Lady, the Adolphus, and the Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves to each other, and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, Thou the good God, who lovest mankind and fears thy glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever in the ages of ages. Amen. Oh, O Saviour, immortal as you are, from Hades you rose, by virtue of your own resurrection, raising your word, together, O Christ our God, Mightily you have broken death's dominion, O Master. You as the Lord of mercy show to all the resurrection. We therefore all glorify you alone, love of humanity. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. From exalted height above, he sent me, gave me a wink, and he sat upon the rock, wherein the rock of life had lain. A radiant light he cried out to the weeping women. See, it's the morning and the cries of lament. <clears throat> you women who are always moved to sympathy, take courage for truly risen. Is he for whom you weep and are seeking? And to the ages of ages. Amen. O pure maiden, all the hosts <coughs> of all the angels were amazed at the awesome mystery of your pregnancy and birth, a you simple command, all the things together. Is held in your embrace as a mortal babe. The pre-eternal word accepts an origin, and he is thus who nourishes the world in his ineffable kindness. Alex, you and glorify. Servants, hallelujah. Praising the name of the Lord, all ye servants, praise the Lord, hallelujah. He that stands in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of the Lord, hallelujah. 
of earnest of them, for his mercy endure forever, alleluia. With a strong hand on a lofty arm, for his mercy endure forever, alleluia. To him a divine with the red sea to pass, for his mercy endure forever, alleluia. And let Israel through the misero for his mercy endure forever, alleluia. And overthrew Pharaoh and his house in the red sea for his mercy endure forever, alleluia. To him that led his people through the wilderness for his mercy endure forever, alleluia. To him that smote great kings for his mercy endure forever, alleluia. And slew mighty kings for his mercy endure forever, alleluia. See young king of the Amorites for his mercy endure forever, alleluia. And O king of the land of Basel for his mercy endure forever, alleluia. And gave the land for an inheritance for his mercy endure. Forever, alleluia. An inheritance for Israel, his servant, for his mercy endure. Forever, alleluia. For in our humiliation, the Lord remembered us, for his mercy endure. Forever, alleluia. And redeem us from our enemies, for his mercy endure. Forever, alleluia. He that giveth food to all flesh for his mercy endure forever, alleluia. Oh, give thanks unto the God of heaven for his mercy endure forever, alleluia. <clears throat> Amen. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. The assembly of the angels was amazed to see the accounted among the dead. The who does destroy the might of death, O Saviour, and is raised up Adam with thyself, and who has freed all men from hell. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Why do ye mingle now with tears of compassion? O ye women disciples, the radiant angel in the grave, that rests the murdering women, behold the grave and exult, for the Saviour hath arisen from the sepulchre. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes, at early morn a murderer's hasten to thy sepulchre with lamentations. But an angel came to them and said, The time for sorrow is ended. Weep ye no longer and tell the apostles of the resurrection. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. The murdering women came with myrrh unto thy tomb, O Saviour, and they heard an angel saying unto them, Why do ye count on the living among the dead? For as God, he is risen from the sepulchre. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, we worship the Father and His Son and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity, one in essence. And we cry out with the seraphim, Holy, 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 above Lord, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, Amen. By giving birth to the King,
Israel's pardon from sin, and thou didst grant thee joy instead of sorrow. For the God of man who was incarnate of thee, thy desire to like him, Lord, all in the way the path. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God, alleluia. Alleluia, glory to the O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to the O God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance our holy Lord, and Most holy, let us bless the Lord. Never virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other, and all our life unto Christ our Lord. Lord. Blessed is thy name, and glorified is thy kingdom of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. From my youth, through many passions war against me, O oh, do thou thyself defend and save me, O oh, my Saviour. The haters of Zion shall be shamed by the Lord, for thy grass by the fire shall he be withered. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In the Holy Spirit, every soul is quickened. And true cleansing is exalted and made radiant by the triple unity in a hidden sacred manner. Heavens, we have I cried unto thee, O Lord. From the depths of my soul, let the divine hearing be attentive even unto me. Whosoever possesseth all things the Lord is above all things that things are. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. By the Holy Spirit, the streams of grace goes forth, watering all creation. Unto the begetting of life, let my heart be lifted unto the Lord, and all the pleasures of the world shall draw me unto the love of Christ. Things. Even as one hath affection for his mother, so also unto the Lord do we owe our more fervent love. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In the Holy Spirit there is a wealth of divine knowledge, divine vision and long wisdom. For in him the world revealeth all the doctrines of the Father. The Prochemenon. Arise, O Lord, help us and redeem us for the sake of the glory of thy name. Arise, O Lord, help us and redeem us for the sake of the glory of thy name. O God, that our ears have been heard, for our fathers have told us the work which thou hast wrought in their days, in their days of old. Arise, O Lord, help us and redeem us for the sake of the glory of thy name. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. Holy are thou, who rests in the holy place. 
and to thee ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> God and his saints, praise him in the firm foundation of his power, let every heart breathe, praise the Lord. And that we might be accounted worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us pray to the Lord God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Wisdom and heaven, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. Unto thy spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to thee, O Lord. Glory to thee. Let us attend. At that time, Peter rose and ran to the tomb, stooping and looking in. He saw the linen cloths by themselves, and he departed, wondering at what had happened. That very day, two of them were going to a village near Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem, and talking with each other about these things that had happened. While they were talking and discussing together, Jesus himself drew near and went with them, but their eyes were kept from recognizing him. And he said to them, What is this conversation which you are holding with each other as you walk and are sad? And one of them named Cleopas answered him, Are you only a stranger in Jerusalem, and do not know the things that have happened there in these days? And he said to them, What things? And they said to him concerning Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet mighty indeed and word before God and all the people, and how our chief priests and rulers delivered him up to be condemned to death and crucified him. But we had hoped that he was one to redeem Israel. Beside all this, it is now the third day since this happened. Moreover, some women of our company amazed us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. They came back saying that they had seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. Some of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said, but him they did not see. And Jesus said to them, O foolish men, and slow of heart to believe, all the prophets have spoken. Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them <clears throat> in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. So they drew near to the village to which they were going. Jesus appeared to be going further, but they constrained him, saying, Stay with us, for it is toward evening, and the day is now far spent. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at table with them, he took the bread and blessed and broke it and gave it to them. And their eyes were opened and they recognized him, and he vanished out of their sight. Then they said to each other, Did not our hearts burn within us while we talked to while he talked to us on the road, and while he opened to us the scriptures, and they rose that same hour and returned to Jerusalem, and found the eleven gathered together, and those who were with them, saying, The Lord is risen indeed, and has appeared to Simon. Then they told what had happened on the road, and how he has heard to them in the breaking of <coughs> the bread. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. <coughs> In that we have beheld the resurrection of Christ, have bowed down before the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Thy cross to be adore, O Christ, and thy holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For thou art our God, and we know none other beside thee, we call upon thy name. O come, all ye faithful, let us adore Christ's holy resurrection. The world through the cross is joy coming to all the world. Ever blessed in the Lord, let us sing his resurrection. For in that he hath endured the cross for us, he hath destroyed death by death. <coughs> <coughs> ah, yeah. 
mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out all my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness, and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my lawlessness, and my sin is always before me. Against you only have my sin, and I'm evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words, and overcome when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in transgressions, and in sins my mother bore me. For behold, you love truth, you show me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with his soap, and I will be cleansed. You shall wash me, and I will be made whiter than snow. You shall make me hear joy and gladness. My bones at the humble shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face from my sins, and blot out all my transgressions. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and upon me with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways, and the ungodly shall turn back yeah. to you. Deliver me from blood, guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation. And I, my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For if you desire sacrifice, I would have given it. You will not be pleased with covenant offerings. The sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and humble heart God will not despise. To go the Lord in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. And you will be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings and hope and offerings. Then shall they offer your angels on your altar, and have mercy on me, O God. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and the intercessions of the apostles. O Lord, have mercy, blot out my many offenses, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. At the intercession of the Theotokos, O Lord, have mercy, blot out my many offenses. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Jesus, having risen from the grave as he foretold, has granted us eternal life and great mercy. O God, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Visit thy world with mercy and compassion. Exalt the horn of Orthodox Christians and send down upon us the rich mercies through the possessions of all immaculate Lady and ever Virgin Mary, by the might of the precious and life giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, and the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet Paul Ran and Baptist John, for the holy glorious or Lord of all apostles Peter and Paul and all the holy apostles, our fathers among the saints, great parents, and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, John Chrysostom. Athanasius, Caroline, John the Merciful, Patriarchs of Alexandria, Gregory the Great and Augustine of Canterbury, Apostles of the English, Theodore of Tarsus and Dunstan, Archbishops of Canterbury, Chad of Litchfield, Nicholas of Myra, Spiridon, or Trimethus and Nectarius, Pentapolis, the Wonder Workers, or the Holy Glorious, Great Marcus, George the Trophy Bearer, Demetrius the Mastreamer, Theodore the Soldier, Theodore the General, Minas the Wonder Worker, or the Holy Glorious, Right Victorious Marcus, Alban, Protomartyr of Britain, the Martyr Kings of England, Edmund of East Anglia, Oswald of Heavenfield, Edward of the Passion Bearer, Altmund of Derby, or the Harder Martyrs, Ignatius of Godbearer of Antioch, Adelambos of Eleftherios, or the Holy Glorious Great Women Martyrs, Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, 
Catherine, give me a key for Dini, Marini, Marina, Paraskavi, Angolini, the Virgin Martyr, Decker of Wales, Arida, Colum, Elizabeth, the New Martyr, the Venerable and God bearing Fathers, the Sean and Ascetic Knight, Seraphim, Sarah, Basilio, Guidebark of Mightford, the Wellin and Gwyneth of Welshpool, Byner of Wales, Hilarion the Great, Caveman of Whitby, the Venerable and God bearing Mothers, Hilda of Whitby, Werber of Chester, Melinda from the Berwyn Mountains, Winifred of Wales, Milberger of Wenlock, of our Holy Fathers, Anthony and Cuthbert, patrons and protectors of this Holy Monastery, of all saints of Lincolnshire and all saints of Worcestershire, of the Holy Righteous Ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of our Holy Father, Paisios, whose memory is celebrated today, and of all the saints we deceive, <coughs> merciful Lord, hearken unto the petitions of our sinners, who make our supplications unto thee. <coughs> And have mercy upon our land. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Through the mercy and compassion and love for mankind of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou blessed, together with thine all holy and good and life giving Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The people of Israel in ancient times traversed the Red Sea on foot. I have there kept their feet from getting wet, and when Moses uplifted his arms in cruciform, they drove away Amalek's forces in the wilderness. Glory to your holy resurrection, O Lord. You were lifted, setting your eyes on our fall by the immaculate tree of the cross, and heeding the total destruction wrought by a tree. <coughs> o Master, as you are loving and all-powerful, glory to your holy resurrection, O Lord. With your body, O Christ, you were in the tomb. With your soul in Hades as God, in paradise with the thief. On the throne with the Father and the Spirit, filling all things yet yourself uncircumscribed. Most holy third our God, save us. Without sin, you conceived the Son of God by the Father's will. From the divine spirit and you bore in the flesh the one who from his father is without mother and for our sakes from you from you with our father holy father paisios pray to god for us father paisios how can we worthily extol you praising in song the ascetic lifestyle or devout one that you chose what word shall we employ to sing of your love which was ardent truly suffered with everyone and provided comfort and sympathy holy father paisios pray to god for us <coughs> Father Paisios, how can we worthily extol you, praising in song the ascetic lifestyle or devout one that you chose? What word shall we employ to sing of your love, which was ardent? It truly suffered with everyone, and provided comfort and sympathy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From early childhood you lived ascetically, aflame with love divine, as an avid reader of biographies of saints, with fervor you aspired to imitate their amazing angelic lifestyle, and their great supreme struggles for virtue's sake. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. Truly I place my every hope in you, O Virgin Pure, that is after God, and after my full devotion I have lifted up to you. Wholeheartedly with all my might I cry to you, O Lady. Direct my steps to salvation, O Holy Mother of Christ our God. I open my mouth and pray, the Spirit fill it like David said, to pour out a good word to the Queen and Mother of God. I'll celebrate her feast with joy and gladness. And sing to her merrily, warning her miracles. The Church of Christ rejoices in you and cries, Ye Lord, are my strength, my refuge, and my firmament. Glory to your holy resurrection, O Lord. The tree of life and the true, the true spiritual vine is hanging on the cross and falls out for all. The elixir of immortality. Glory to your holy resurrection, O Lord. As a great, as great, as fearful as he who destroyed the insolence of hell. And as God incorruptible, he is now risen in the body. Oh, sorry, then, talk to save us. You alone have become the cause of the blessings beyond nature for those on earth, Mother of God. And so we bring you our hail. 
Holy Father Paisius, pray to God for us. Father Paisius, <clears throat> the words of Saint Alcinius uttered, prophesying that your lifestyle would truly imitate his own. Behold, have manifestly come to pass, and now you both, like bright stars, splendidly shine in the Church of Christ. Holy Father Paisius, pray to God for us. Father Paisius, the words that Saint Arsenius uttered, prophesying that your lifestyle would truly imitate his own. Behold, have manifestly come to pass, and now you both, like bright stars, Splendidly shine in the Church of Christ. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As ever since <coughs> entering the ring of the, the Cenobitic Contest, every day you added fire to fire, and you laboured in your sweat, and prayed with tears unceasingly, and therefore you washed in the grace of God coming from on high. Both now and ever, unto the ages of ages, Amen. Your purest Mother of our God, blessed Paisius, this heart was, while your holy love completely enraptured, he would ardently bow down before you, and would reverently say, There is nothing sweeter than you, the mother of Christ, my Lord. Establish your servants who extol you, O mother of God, for they have formed a spiritual choir for you, the living and abundant fount, and graciously in your divine glory give glorious crowns to them. And again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord of mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord of mercy. Calling in remembrance our all holy immaculate. Most holy, that our Lord, the Virgin Mary, and other saints, let us commend ourselves, each other, and all our life unto Christ our Lord. To the King of Peace, Saviour of our souls, and we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Leading your life on earth in an angelic manner, and brightly shining through your love, devout Paisius, you became a great encouragement for monastics and a guide for the believers to a holy life. For the whole world, the whole world, a source of sweet divine delight, so we shout to you, rejoice, Father known throughout the world. Angels were in wonder how, Father in body, you ascended through the love to the heavens, and how from there, filled with divine love, with the light of love, you made the earth heavenly, and we who are in awe of you salute you thus uttermost reverence. Rejoice the mystic of sacred stillness, rejoice the vessel of love for and of God. Rejoice for you receive the bread of angels, rejoice for you receive saints in your cabin. Rejoice for you were granted to see the God-man Christ. Rejoice, for ye also had visions of the Mother of God. Rejoice, most sympathetic intercessor for all people. Rejoice, O invisible benefactor of the whole world. Rejoice, distinguished champion of orthodoxy. Rejoice, mighty opponent of schism and heresy. Rejoice, the splendor of holy Mount Athos. Rejoice, protector of the theologian's convent. Rejoice, Father known throughout the world. You, O Father, were pricked by the sweetest God of divine love and charity in the heart. And therefore you quit the world and cut your mother's apron strings. In the desert you acquired divine all-embracing love, and its arrow that pierced you incited you ceaselessly to console and comfort and give rest to all people. And thus with a ble bleeding heart you had mercy on everyone, sick in danger, at risk, on mourners, the deceived, the poor, and you gave even gave refreshment to the dead by your prayers to the Lord of Paisius. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When the weight of temptations had bowed me down, and the arrows of sorrow was piercing me, you suddenly came to me, and your help was immediate. Before I even said, St. Paisius, come to me, O oh, marvellous wonder, you were standing in front of me. You did not ignore my heart's most bitter affliction, nor even my hidden sighs, O oh, devout one, but rather as a most honourable servant of the only God who loves mankind, you visited me in my infirmity and provided me healing beyond all. Oh, both now and ever unto the ages of ages, amen. When I physically stand near you, your most sublime holy icon, O Lady and Queen of all, I sense I am standing in your life presence noetically. With love I bow and reverently kiss your holy feet, and send up my thanksgiving for blessings I have received. And with, it heart, with heart exultant I cry out to you, Mary, you are the most luminous royal palace <coughs> of the Master, all immaculate, virgin, pure. For God the Logos wholly dwelt in your womb, so as to finish making me the human being into God by grace. Seeing you, the Son of Righteousness, raised up upon the cross, the Church stands in order and fittingly cries out, Glory to your power, O Lord. Glory to your holy resurrection, O Lord. You ascended the cross to cure my passions by the passions of your immaculate flesh, which you willingly assume, and so we cry to you, Glory to your power, O Lord. Glory to your holy resurrection, O Lord. 
Death when it hath tasted your sinless and life-giving body, Master, was rightly slain, but we cry out to you, glory to your power, O Lord. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Without knowing whether what you bore a child or a virgin, and after childbirth you remain still a virgin, therefore with never silent voices, sovereign lady, we cry to you with unwavering faith, hail. Holy Father Paisios, pray to God for us. Delight for you was deprivation, delight for you was deprivation and abstinence. You considered fasting to be luxury, and all ascetic discipline was joy. Therefore you invented all kinds of novel ascetic feats. For your exclusive longing for the all-cherished master, or devout one, prevailed over every toil. Holy Father Paisios, pray to God for us. Delight for you was deprivation and abstinence. You considered fasting to be luxury, and all ascetic discipline was joy. Therefore you invented all kinds of novel ascetic feats. For your exclusive longing for the all-cherished master, or devout one, prevailed over every toil. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We are amazed how like an angel you lived on earth, how the angels helped you, O Paisios, how you conversed with martyrs and saints, now that you are dancing with them in heaven. We pray to you in earnest, Holy Father, do not cease interceding on behalf of peoples who honour you. Both thou and ever unto the ages of ages, amen. Your devotee, devout Paisios, was amazed by your tender love and sweetest comforting when you appeared on Sinai to him as a loving mother who cared for him and who cried out, Aloud, O Virgin Theotokos, I count you as my mother, and I have dedicated myself to you. With the prophet Habakkuk, when the prophet Habakkuk heard the divine and incomprehensible counsel of your incarnation from the Virgin of Most High, considering he, considering he cried aloud, Glory to your power, O Lord my God. You, Lord my light, came into the world a holy light, turning from the darkness of ignorance. Those who sing your praise in faith. Glory to your holy resurrection, O Lord. You came down to you. Earth in your compassion, Lord, you raised up fallen human nature when you were hung upon a tree. Glory to your holy resurrection, O Lord. Glory. You have took away the accusation of my faults, O Christ. You abolished the pains of death, O merciful, by your resurrection. Most holy Theotokos, save us. It is you we thrust forward as an unbreakable weapon against foes. We have gained you as an anchor and hope of our salvation, O Bride of God. Holy Father Paisios, pray to God for us. You became a most mighty victor over demons. O devout Paisius, you were not afraid of their attacks and their terrors and treachery, for you have the saving shield of the cross of Christ the Saviour and the breastplate of holy humility. Holy Father Paisius, pray to God for us. You became a most mighty victor over demons. O devout Paisius, you were not afraid of their attacks and their terrors and treachery, for you have the saving shield of the cross of Christ the Saviour and the breastplate of holy humility. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. When the glorious martyr Euphemia, suddenly in bright celestial light, visited you in cabin, which was lacking of but made others rich, she filled you, O Father, with divine joy and exultation, and your heart she infused with the profoundest peace. Both thou and heaven unto the ages of ages, amen. Saint Paisius told us that he had been fed by the <coughs> mother of our God. Once he was exalted, and an angel gave him divine food to eat, saying to the glory of your holy Theotokos, such a lady is your divine providence. Amazed was the universe by your divine magnificence. You were you who were perpetually a virgin, carried the heavenly God of all in your womb, and gave birth to the eternal Son who awards salvation to all who sing hymns of praise to you. I will sacrifice to you with a voice of praise of all the church Christ to you, cleansed from the gore of demons by the blood which flowed through pity from your side. Glory to your holy resurrection, O Lord. Gird with power you ascended the cross and came to grips with the tyrant, and as God hurled him from on high, as Adam you raised up with your invincible hand. Glory to your holy resurrection, O Lord. You rose from the tomb of Christ in dazzling beauty, scattered every foe by your divine power, and as God filled all things with gladness. Most holy fair to us, save us. A wonder newer than every wonder, for a virgin without knowing man, conceived in her womb, the one who encompasses all things, but did not restrict him. Holy Father Paisios, pray to God for us. Events that were far away, you clearly saw as if they were near. Give our Father, and you saw into many people's hearts. You roused and guided, guided them on the way of salvation and to knowledge of the only God. Holy Father Paisios, pray to God for us. Events that were far away, you clearly saw as if they were near. Give our Father, and you saw into many people's hearts. You roused them, guided them on the way of salvation and to knowledge of the only God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Saint, you were lifted up into the heavens and thus became all heavenly, O devout Paisios. You perceived divine secrets mystically, and you therefore greatly glorified the Lord with all your heart. Both thou and ever unto the ages of ages, amen. 
Lord your Virgin, who gave birth to Christ, the cause of our utmost joy, resurrection and life and joy of all, of all is he indeed. Therefore we salute you now with joy we cry out, O redemption of the world, rejoice. O God, they mind you believe that come and celebrate the sacred and venerable feast and the sixth door of Theotokos, and clap our hands and glorify our God, who was truly born of her. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord of mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord of mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate. Most holy, that our God, so With all the saints, let us commend ourselves to each other, and all our life unto Christ our Lord. To our God, and he is great glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Saviour and Deliverer, is he who raised up from the tomb and from the bonds those born on earth, for he is God, and he destroyed Hades, bars and gates, on the third day arose as the master of all. Because to him who from the dead arose, Christ the life giver, on the third day from the tomb, who crossed the gates of death today by the power which he is, who slew Hades and ground away the sting of death, and rescued Adam and Eve, so let to him let us all, born on earth, now sing earnestly shouting our grateful praise. For he alone, our mighty God, on the third day arose as the master of all. The Simixarian. On the 12th of July, we commemorate the holy martyrs Proclus and Hilary. On this day, we also commemorate our devout father, Michael Melanus, the spiritual father of St. Athanasius of Athos. On this day, we also commemorate the holy martyr Seraphian and the holy martyrs Andrew, the commander Heraclius, Faustus, Minas, and their company, and the holy martyr Mamas over Sigma. St. Veronica, the woman with the flow of blood whom Christ cured, reposed in peace. On this day, we also commemorate our devout father Paisius, the new of the holy Ma mountain Athos, who reposed in peace in the year 1994. By thy holy intercessions, O God, have mercy on us, Amen. The children of Abraham in the Persian place, fired by love for true religion rather than by the flame, cried out, Blessed are you, O Lord, in the temple of your glory. Glory to your holy resurrection, O Lord. Washed in the divine blood of Christ, humanity has been called back to incorruption as it sings with thanksgiving. Blessed are you, O Lord, in the temple of your glory. Glory to your holy resurrection, O Lord. Your tomb, the source of our resurrection, has been revealed, O Christ, as bearer of life, lo lovelier than paradise, and brighter than any kingly bride or chamber. Most holy, fair talk of Savior. Sanctified and divine dwelling of the Most High, hail. For through you, Mother of God, joy has been given to those who cry. Blessed are you among women, O blameless lady. Holy Father Paisios, pray to God for us. Saints inspired by divine love from your simple caring heart, poured out like water. Godly minded, devout Paisios, and clearly were understood by tribes and tongues and by people of all ages. Holy Father Paisios, pray to God for us. Saints inspired by divine love from your simple caring heart, poured out like water. Godly minded, devout Paisios, and clearly were understood by tribes and tongues and by people of all ages. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Light brightly shone for, for, shown from your appearance, indicating that your soul was even brighter. All who saw you were changed and cried out in amazement, saying, It is enough for me just to see you, my sweet Father. Both thou and ever unto the ages of ages, amen. You, O you, o pure Virgin, are a shelter for the Orthodox who honour you correctly. You protect us from harm that comes from the impious, and like a cloud, you mystic overshadow us forever. Godly minded three did not adore created things in the Creator's stead, rather disdaining the threat of fire. They trampled it and joyfully they sang, O supreme praise, and most exalted in God of our fathers, you are blessed. Stretching out his hands, Daniel closed the jaws of the lions in the den, while the youth, lovers of true religion, girded with virtue, quenched the power of the fire as they cried, Bless the Lord, O your works of the Lord. Glory to your holy resurrection, O Lord. Stretching out your hands on the cross, you gathered in all the nations and revealed one church, Master, which sings your praise for those on earth and those in heaven who sing in harmony. Bless the Lord, O your works of the Lord. Glory to your holy resurrection, O Lord. An angel, white as snow, blazing with the unapproachable light of the resurrection, appeared to the women and cried out, Why do you seek the living as, the living as a mortal in the tomb? Christ has truly risen. To him let us cry all your words, praise ye the Lord. Most holy, fair talk, save us. 
He was old in all generations, immaculate virgin Mary, beautiful mother of God. He became the lodging of the Godhead of all blameless and were not burned by the fire of the unapproachable light. Therefore we all bless you, Mary, bride of God. Holy Father, praise you, pray to God for us. Being rich in the grace of cures and healings, from severe illnesses you relieved many people, but you all same courageously endured your own incurable disease, for the sake of love to suffer along with those who suffer. Holy Father, praise you, pray to God for us. Being rich in the grace of cures and healings, from severe illnesses you relieved many people, but you all same courageously endured your own incurable disease, for the sake of love to suffer along with those who suffer. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When your illness was wearing down your body, you all same preserved in your ascetic practice, as if you had no body or stout-hearted man, and you could hear the angels extol God and sing to him, Holy, 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 both now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. I implore you, O Virgin Theotokos, as the throne of our God, at my final appearance before the judge's throne, may I not be alone, but advocate for me as good mediator, and free me from perdition. We praise, we bless, and we worship the Lord. Guiltless were those servants in the furnace, the son of the Theot, the son of the Theotokos went and rescued them. He who was prefigured then, having been incarnate now, is gathering the whole wide world into his church to sing. Of all you works of the Lord, to the ages sing praises to the Lord, and exalt him beyond all measure. The mother of God and mother of life, let us be still in song. Alleluia. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoicing on my Saviour. More honourable than the cherubim, and beyond from them more glorious than the seraphim. Thou who without corruption gave us bread to go to the very day of Tokos, he do be magnified. For he hath put upon the prayers of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall go be blessed. More honourable than the cherubim, and the young condemn all glorious and the seraphim. Love who without corruption gave us but to go to work, the very fails of the sea to be magnified. For he hath looked upon the loneliness of his son maiden, for behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. More honourable than the cherubim, and the young of them all glorious and the seraphim, in love, who without corruption gave us but to God's love, the very fails of God's seed to be magnified. Let you all have heavenly things to me, and holy is his name, and his mercy is on them that fear him. Unto generation and generation, for all level than the cherubim, and the young of them are glorious and the love of it our corruption gave us but to go to work, the very fails of God's seed to be magnified. Yet shall stand with it, God, he is better than God. In the imagination of the heart, more honorable than the cherubim, and the young of them more glorious than the seraphim. Love who without corruption gave us birth to the Lord, the very fail to the sea to be magnified. Yet put down the mighty from the sea, and exalted them of no degree. Yet filled the hungry with good things. And the rich he has sent empty away. More honorable than the cherubim, and the young of them more glorious than the seraphim. Love, who without corruption gave us but to go to work, the very fails of God's seed to be magnified. He hath hope and his servant is heard in remembrance of his mercy, as he spake to our fathers, to Abraham, and his seed forever. More honorable than the cherubim, and the young of them more glorious than the seraphim, love without corruption.
شد قیب از پات و گاز آباد و غربی تراز و کاسی دوری مردی I call so and was cut fast with hands from a never quiet mountain, which prefigured you, Holy Virgin, the star of his Christ, who joined the desperate natures, as we rejoice because of this so fair to us we magnify. Glory to your holy resurrection, O Lord. The whole of you assume the whole of me in a conjunction without confusion, giving the whole of salvation, O my God, through your suffering, which you underwent in the body on the cross, Lord, through your great compassion. Glory to your holy resurrection, O Lord. When your disciples saw your open tomb and the grave clothes that have held God lying emptied by your resurrection, they said that the angel of the Lord has risen indeed. Holy Trinity, our God, have mercy on us and save us. All we believers worship at unity of divine being. Not a trinity of persons in persons without confusion. It is equal in might and identical in honour, which we reference and magnify. Holy Father Paisios, pray to God for us. In splendidly observing the sacred feasts of Saint of Divine Saint Peace, Paisius, let us diligently strive to adorn our souls with all his virtues. So let us emulate him in bravery and zeal and in season prayer, humility and meekness, his love for God and neighbor, his sense of honor and self-sacrifice. Holy Father Paisius, pray to God for us. In splendidly observing the sacred feasts of Divine Saint Paisius, let us diligently strive to adorn our souls with all his divine virtues. So let us emulate him in bravery and zeal and unceasing prayer, humility and meekness, his love for God and neighbor, his sense of honor and self-sacrifice. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. You wove an all-white garment to dress your soul through your endless ascetic endeavors and unceasing prayer. Thus arrayed you enter the wedding hall, which is suffused with divine light, where the sacred chorus of all devout ascetic saints received you and heading that reception. With utmost, utmost joy, with utmost joy was Saint Arsenios, both thou and ever unto the ages of ages, amen. But Lady, who gave birth to the Saviour Christ, our Redeemer, we pray that you count us worthy to obtain salvation, so that we may all be filled with light divine and joyfully in the heavens sing the Christ holy hymn, with all the saints together to glorify the Father and Son and Holy Spirit. All you born on earth with festival and in hand, spirit leap for joy, and all you love heavenly, angelic orders join in and celebrate, and honoring the sacred wonder of the Mother of God, sing the joyful salutation, O rejoice, the Theotokos, O blessed, and ever virgin pure. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. O Lord of mercy, help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. O Lord of mercy, calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most holy, blessed, and ever and ever virgin Mary, all the saints, let us commend ourselves, each other, and all our life unto Christ our God. Truly. Of heaven, praise thee, that be his glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Who is the life and way out from the dead arisen? He went with Luke and Cleopas, who died in recognized him, breaking the bread in Emmaus. Their souls and hearts within them were burning while he talked to them on the Lord, and interpreted unto them in the 
scriptures, all the things he had suffered. With them cry out that he arose, and has appeared to Peter. Devout and God-bearing Father, I see us who be came upon all genuine Christ thy Oh. 
to fulfill on them the written judgment. This glory of all is all he wants. You and your crucifixion are the poor Lord, are resurrected from the dead Almighty One. We glorify your resurrection. Praise God in his saints, praise him in the firmament of his power. Oh Christ, by means of your cross, you have set us free from the ancient curse. And by means of your death, you have neutralized the devil who tyrannized our nature. And by your rising, you fill all things with joy. Therefore, we shout to you who rose from the dead, glory to you, O Lord. Praise him for his mighty arise. Praise him according to the abundance of his greatness. <clears throat> By means of your cross, O Lord, God, direct us to your truth, O Christ, our Saviour, and deliver us from the snares of the fall. You who rose from the dead, raise us who are born and sin, extending your hand, O Lord, who loves humanity, at the intercession of your holy ones. Praise him with the sound of trumpet, praise him with the harp on my only begotten Lord, O of God. While departing not from the Father's bosom, you came to earth for love of humanity, immutably becoming human, and you physically endure the cross and death, although impossible in divinity, having risen from the dead. You granted the human race immortality as the only Almighty One. Honor. Praise Him with terror and dance, praise Him with strings of blue, along with man's awful song this day. All ye mountains leap for joy, and let the whole world now celebrate in hymns and glorify the Lord, for he gave us recently by his seals, support of believers, the voice of the devout ascetic saints, and the teacher of repentance and the mighty champion of the virtue and truth. Praise him with his army symbols, praise him with tribal symbols, that everything that breathes praise the Lord. Eve our Father, you are God, your soul with such ornaments so praise. O Saint Paisius, for you had a zeal that burned like fire, like that of Elijah. You had done your acumen, the mindset of the brave mothers, Maccabi, the ardent love for God, of Ignatius, and especially the Love that for the apostle. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints, as a treasure that never 
fails indeed. Was a grace and over all for which you suffer together with suffering and more the pain on your shoulders. Oh, blessed saint, and us you gladly took the way of the cross and having found it by the joy of the resurrection. Came a provider of comfort to all the world. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord. He will delight exceedingly in his commandments. From heaven appeared to us the saint, be a mighty champion, defend, protect, and deliver us from all the We entreat you, grant to our souls peace, give us sin by easy hours.
supremely blessed, virgin Theotokos, all through him who from you became bond, was Hades taken prison, and Adam has been summoned by the curse has been
today has salvation come to pass in the world. Let us sing to him who resurrected from the tomb and is the author of our life. For destroying death by death, he gave us the victory and the great mercy. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the Father, the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and those of faith, reverence, and the fear of God enter therein, and let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Father, Metropolitan Silver, the honored order of Presbytery, the diaconate in Christ, the clergy, and the people, let us pray. For the Lord, 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 L
remembrance, our Lord, holy, immaculate, most holy, most holy, most holy, the daughters and the Virgin Mary, and all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other, and all our life unto Christ our Lord. To thine is the night, and thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Praise the Lord, of my soul, I will praise the Lord in my life. I will chant unto my God as long as I have my being. Save us, O Son of God, who art risen from the dead, as we chant to thee, Alleluia. Blessed is he of whom the God of Jacob is his son, whose hope is in the Lord his God. Save us, O Son of God, who art risen from the dead, as we chant to thee, Alleluia. The Lord shall be King unto eternity, thy God, O Zion, unto generation and generation. Save us, O Son of God, who art risen. As we chant to thee, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Holy begotten Son and Lord of God, Thou who art immortal, and is God descend for our salvation, to become incarnate of the only theater of God, and ever virgin Mary with a change becoming man, who was crucified for Christ our God, trampling down heaven. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy, help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord of mercy, calling to remembrance our own holy immaculate, most holy, most blessed, and glorious Lady, dear daughters, and the Virgin Mary, and all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other, and all our sins to Christ our Lord. To Thou good God, and love is mankind, and fears thy glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> this is the day that the Lord hath made. Let us greatly rejoice and be glad Having learned the joyful proclamation of the resurrection from the angel, and having cast off the ancestral condemnation, the women disciples spake to the apostles triumphantly, Death is despoiled, and Christ God is risen, granting great mercy unto us. Let the heaven appraise him, having learned the joyful proclamation of the resurrection from the angel, and having cast off the ancestral condemnation, the women disciples spake to the apostles triumphantly. Death is despoiled, and Christ God is risen, granting great mercy unto the world. Wisdom stand upright, come, let us worship and Oh, 
So, Lord, in wisdom hast thou made them all. Bless the Lord, O my soul. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, in wisdom hast thou made them all. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, in wisdom hast thou made them all. Sophia, the reading is from St. Paul's Epistle to the Romans. Brethren, my heart's desire and my supplication to God is for Israel that they may be saved, for I bear them witness that they have a zeal for God, but not according to knowledge, but being ignorant of God's righteousness and seeking to establish their own righteousness, they did not submit to the righteousness of God, for Christ is the fulfillment of the law for righteousness to everyone who believes. For Moses describes the righteousness that is from the law, that the one who does those things shall live by them, but of the righteousness that is from faith, he says thus, Do not say in your heart who shall ascend into heaven, that is, to bring Christ down, or who shall descend into the abyss, that is, to bring Christ up from the dead. But what does it say? The word is near you, in your mouth and in your heart, that is, the word of faith which we preach, because if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved, for with the heart there is the belief to righteousness, and with the mouth the confession to salvation. Just 
unhurted iniquity. To this hear the Holy Gospel, is the unto all as your life spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory to the glory to the Let us attend. At that time when Jesus came to the country of the Gergesenes, two demoniacs met him coming out of the tombs, so fierce that no one could pass that way. And behold, they cried out, What have you to do with us, O Son of God? Have you come here to, the, to torment us before the time? Now heard of many swine was feeding at some distance from them, and the demons begged him, If you cast us out, send us away into the herd of swine. And he said to them, Go. So they came out and went into the swine. Behold, the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the sea and perished in the waters. The herdsmen fled, and going into the city, they told everything and what had happened to the demoniacs. Behold, all the city came out to meet Jesus, and when they saw him, they begged him to leave their neighborhood. And getting into a boat, he crossed over and came to his own. City. Glory to the Lord, glory to thee. <clears throat> let us say with our whole soul, with all our mind, let us say, Lord of mercy, Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee. Hearken and have mercy. Lord of mercy. Have mercy upon us, O God, according to the great mercy, we pray thee. Hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for pious and orthodox Christians. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for our Father, Metropolitan Silva. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Again we pray for mercy, life, peace, <coughs> health, salvation, visitation. Pardon and forgiveness of sins for all of us Christians of true worship, especially for the servant of God, the trustee Marina, whose birthday it was yesterday, and for all of us Christians of true worship who live and dwell in this community. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And again, we pray for the blessing every member found of the holy churches in his parts, and for the servant of God, the newly departed Susan. And all our fathers and brethren, Orthodox, departed this life before us, who here in all the world lie asleep in the Lord Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bear fruit and devote works as holy in all venerable temple, those who serve and those who sing, and all the people here present who wait thy great and rich mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For thou art a merciful God, and lovest mankind unto his great glory, to the Father. <coughs> Son of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Pray to the Lord, you can't Lord have Lord. mercy. Let us the faithful grace and the happy humans of the Lord. Lord. Son of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. A 
as many as are of the faithful again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy, help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord of mercy, wisdom, for unto thee are your glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord of mercy. Have guarded always by thy might, we may strike glory unto thee. To the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. <coughs> now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen.
Let us commend ourselves to each other and all our life unto Christ our Lord. Through thee, O Lord. The compassions of thy begotten Son, with whom thou blessed, <coughs> together with thy all holy and good and life giving Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all. Unto thy Spirit. Let us love one another that with one accord we may confess. O Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Trinity one in us, and the The doors, the doors in wisdom, let us attend. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, <coughs> the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages, light and light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man, and was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again, according to the Scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sitteth at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeded from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, and in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I await the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. <clears throat> let us stand aright, let us stand and fear, let us attend, that we may offer the holy oblation in peace. A mercy of peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with thy spirit, <clears throat> let us lift up our hearts.
behalf of all and for all. and bloodless worship and beseech thee and pray thee and supplicate thee. Send down thy Holy Spirit upon us and upon these guests here spread forth. And make this bread the precious body of thy Christ. Amen. Amen. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of thy Christ. Amen. Amen. Change me then by thy Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 To those who shall partake thereof, they may be unto vigilance of soul and forgiveness of sins, unto the communion of thy Holy Spirit, unto the fulfilment of the kingdom of heaven, and the boldness of thee not unto judgment or unto condemnation. And again we offer unto thee this rational worship, all those things, for all those in faith have gone before us their rest, for fathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and every right <coughs> made perfect in faith. Especially our all holy immaculate, most blessed and glorious lady, the Theodorcos never virgin Mary. divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For our deliverance, <coughs> danger, and 
necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. And let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and forgive <coughs> our sins and transgressions. Let us ask of the Lord. All things good and profitable for our souls and peace the world. Let us ask of the Lord that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask of the Lord a Christian ending to our life famous, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the fearful judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask. Asking for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our Lord. And by faith, O Master, that with boldness and thy condemnation we may dare to call upon thee, the heavenly God as Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. We give thanks unto thee, O King Invisible, who by thy boundless power has made all things in the multitude of thy mercy, has brought all things from nothingness into being. Do thou thyself, O Master, look down from heaven upon those who bow their heads unto thee, for they have not bowed down unto flesh and blood, but to thee, the fearful God. Therefore, O Master, do thou thyself distribute these gifts here spread forth and all of us the good according to the individual need of each. Voyage with those who sail by sea, journey with those who travel by land and air, heal the sick, thou who art the physician of our souls and bodies. Through the grace and compassion thou toward mankind, <coughs> thy only begotten Son, with whom thou blessed together with thy more holy and good and life-giving spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages.
truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who is come into the world to save sinners, or through my own chief. And I believe that this is truly thine own immaculate body, and that this is truly thine own precious blood. Wherefore I pray thee, have mercy upon me, and forgive my transgressions, both voluntary and involuntary, of word and of deed, of knowledge and of ignorance, and make me worthy to partake without condemnation of thine immaculate mysteries, unto remission of my sins, and unto life everlasting. Amen. Of thy mystic supper, O Son of God, accept me today as a communicant, or I will not speak of thy mystery to thine enemies. Neither will I give thee a kiss as did Judas, but like a thief will I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom, not into judgment, nor into condemnation. Be my partaking of thy holy mysteries, O Lord, but unto the healing of soul and body. <coughs>
Let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus as only sin is one. Thy cross we the word of Christ and the holy resurrection praise and glorify. For thou art our God, and we know none other beside thee, we call upon thy name. O come, all ye faithful, let us adore Christ's holy resurrection. For in that he endured the cross to us, he hath destroyed death by death. Shine, shine, O new Jerusalem, for the glory of the Lord has dawned upon thee. Dance be glad as I am delighted to your Theodorus and the rising of thy sun. How divine, how beloved, how sweet is thy voice, O Christ. For thou hast promised to be with us to the end of the age, having this as our anchor of hope, we the faithful do rejoice. Christ, great and most holy pastor, wisdom, word, and power of God, grant that we may more perfectly partake of thee the never ending day of thy kingdom. By thy precious blood, O Lord, wash away the sins of thy servants here commemorated, through the intercessions of all thy saints. We give thanks unto thee, O Master, who loves mankind, benefactor of our souls. For that thou hast vouchsafed this day to feed us with the heavenly and immortal mysteries, make straight our path, establish us all in thy fear, guard our life. Establish us all, make Make firm ourselves through the prayers and intercessions of the glorious Theodorus and ever Virgin Mary for all our sins. Exalted God above the heavens, the glory above all the earth. May thou exalt the God above the heavens, the glory above all the earth. May thou exalt the God above the heavens, the glory over all the earth. Blessed is our God. Always, now and ever, and on the pages of ages. <coughs> Amen. Let our mouth be filled with thy friends, O Lord, that we may sing of thy glory. For thou hast made us worthy to partake of thy holy, divine, immortal, the life-giving mysteries. Because in thy holiness, as all the day, we may meditate upon thy righteousness. Alleluia, alleluia. Let our mouths be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that we may sing of thy glory. For thou hast made us worthy to partake of thy holy, divine, immortal, and life-giving mysteries. Because in thy holiness, as all the day, we may meditate upon thy righteousness. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let our mouths be filled with thy praise, O Lord. That we may sing of thy glory, for thou hast made us worthy to partake of thy holy, divine, immortal, and mighty mysteries. Because in thy holiness as of the day, we may meditate upon thy righteousness. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. For the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly, life giving, and great mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Come, O Savior, be merciful, 
us and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Asking that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our to Lord. Be sanctification and peace and glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. And let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O Lord, who blesses those who bless thee and sanctifies those who put their trust in thee, save thy people and bless thine inheritance, preserve the fullness of thy church, sanctify those who love the beauty of thy house, glorify them, in recompense by thy divine power, and forsake us not to hope on thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to the priests, the civil authorities, to the armed forces, and to all thy people. For all good giving and every perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from thee, the Father of lights, and to thee is quite glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and the ages of ages. Amen. Bless be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Blessing of the Lord, his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love toward mankind, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> glory to you, Christ, God, I have glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Father, give the blessing. <clears throat> May he be and take Christ, which will go through the intercessions of all in life, with all blame and any mother. By the might of the precious and life-giving cross, by the protection of the honourable body, this powers of heaven, the supplication of the honourable glorious prophet Paul Anne and Baptist John, or the holy glorious or Lord of apostles Peter and Paul, and all the apostles, or the Father and Mother Saints John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, or the holy and glorious, right victorious martyrs, our venerable God-bearing fathers, holy fathers Anthony Cuthbert, patrons and protectors of this holy monastery. For the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, for the saints and martyrs of Lincolnshire, and the saints and martyrs of Worcestershire, of our holy father, Paisius, whose memory is celebrated today, and all the saints have mercy upon us and save us, for as much as he is good and loveth mankind. Through the prayers of holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. <coughs> The Holy Trinity keep all of you. Through him who blesses and sanctifies us, may the Lord grant many years. And to the handmaid of God, Marina, to her husband, John, to their family and friends, may the Lord our God grant health, success, and in all good things, and many years. God grant you many years. God grant you
Dark Bar Station is a big thing in terms of my own things. I can't think of Dark Bar Station being worthy. So if I say the point of my share, it's going to happen with gifts. What's our master who loves mankind? He just both die for us and rise again. And this bestow upon us these dread and life creating mysteries. For the well being and sanctification of our souls and bodies. Grant that these may be for me also as a healing of soul and body, as a reverting of everything contrary to the as the enlightenment of the eyes of my heart, and to the peace of my spiritual powers, as a faith and a shame, and to love and fame, and to increase in wisdom, and to the fulfillment of thy commandments, and to grow up in thy divine grace, and the attainment of thy kingdom, thou preserved by them in my holiness, and the ever remember thy grace, and henceforth live not unto myself, but to be our master and benefactor. And thus, when this life is ended, we hope of eternal life, and may attain unto everlasting rest, where the voice of those who keep festival is unceasing, and the delight of those who behold the ineffable beauty of thy countenance is boundless. For thou art the true desire and an un unutterable joy of those who love thee, O Christ our God, and all creation of thee move forever. Amen. O Master Christ our God, King of the ages and maker of all things, I thank thee. For that, for all the good things which thou hast bestowed upon me, and for its partaking of thine immaculate and life giving mysteries. Wherefore, I pray thee, who are good and lovest mankind, and keep me under thy protection and in the shadow of thy wings, and grant unto me, with a pure conscience, and even unto my last breath, to partake of thy holy things, and to forgiveness of sins, and unto life everlasting. For thou art the bread of life, the fountain of holiness, the giver of good things, and unto thee we ascribe glory, together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever. And unto your ages of ages, Amen. And thou who willingly dost give thy flesh to me as food, thou who art a fire consuming the unworthy, consume me not, O my Creator, but rather pass through all my body parts into all my joints, my veins, my heart. Burn now the forms of all my transgressions, cleanse my soul, hallow thou my thoughts, make pure my knees and my bones likewise. Enlighten as one my five senses, establish me holy in my fear, ever shelter me, God, and keep me from every soul corrupting deed. And word, cleanse me, purify me, and control me, adorn me, and teach and enlighten me. Show me to be a dwelling place of thy spirit, and in no wise a dwelling place of sin. But from me thy habitation through the entrance of thy communion. Every evil deed and every passion may flee us from fire. As intercessors I bring to thee all the sanctified, both the leaders of the bodiless powers thy foreigner, and my wise apostles, and besides these thine immaculate and pure mother. Do thou receive their prayer, O my Christ, who are compassionate. And make thy servant to be a child of light, for thou alone, O good one, of the sanctification and splendor of our souls, and unto thee as God and Master. And day by day we all ascribe glory. May thy holy body, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, be unto me for life eternal, and my precious blood unto the forgiveness of my sins. May this Eucharist be unto me for joy, health, and gladness, and that thy fearful second coming may be the sinner worthy to stand at the right hand of thy glory through the intercessions of thine all immaculate mother and of all thy saints. Amen. O oh, Holy Lady, fair to help us, light of my darkened soul, my hope, my shelter, my refuge, my consolation, and my joy. I thank thee that thou hast accounted me worthy, although unworthy, to be a partaker of the immaculate body and precious blood of thy Son. But do thou who gave us birth to the true life, enlighten the spiritual eyes of my heart. For thou who didst bear the fountain of immortality, enlighten thou me who lie dead in sin. O oh, compassion, loving mother of the merciful God, have mercy upon me and grant me compunction and contrition of heart and humility in my thoughts, and deliverance from the bondage of my vain imaginings, and account me worthy even unto my last breath to receive without condemnation the sanctification of the immaculate mysteries into the healing of both soul and body, and grant unto me tears of repentance and confession, that I may hear thee and glorify thee all the days of my life, the blessed and glorified art thou unto all ages. Amen. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word, for mine eyes have seen my salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light and light from the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people, Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, God now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Ask the pardon our iniquities, holy God. Visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom of power, the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and ever the ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> I shone you forth from my mouth like a fire have enlightened the universe, and have disposed of the world treasures of uncovetousness. And have shown us the heights of humility, but as thou dost instruct us by thy words, O Father John Chrysostom, it is seen that the word Christ God to save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From heaven thou hast received divine grace, and by thy lips thou dost teach us all to worship the one God and Trinity, O Venerable John Chrysostom. Your blessed word be to be extolled thee, for thou art the strength of thy does reveal things divine. Now and ever, and through ages of ages, amen. The church has revealed to all of the brilliant lit haven, leading the faithful in the way of life, standing therein we cry aloud. Make firm the foundations of this house, O Lord. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages, Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Glad that with our corruption we spare God the word, and our truly faith help us be magnified thee. Bless, Father, in the name of the Lord. May God have compassion upon us, and bless us, and shine light his countenance upon us. And be nice to plant Amen. <clears throat>